Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a bunch of the new stuff added in the 20W09A snapshot. This is the newest snapshot at the time, so I cannot show you anything else besides what you see here. I should also mention that this is just a snapshot, so things could change in the final release of 1.16. I hope you enjoy the video. If you want to see anything specific about this new snapshot, then I will put timestamps on the screen right now, so you can skip to that point in the video to see whatever you want to see. I'm going to be starting off with the new blocks added to Minecraft. Now there are two different biomes added to the nether. There's the Nylium and the Crimson. They each have their respective blocks. There's the grass block, the log, the strip log, and the planks for each biome. The next block is the Crying Obsidian. I don't know what that's for. The next one is the Ancient Debris, which can be used to make netherite. Basically, you smelt it down in a furnace, combine it with gold in a crafting table, and you will get netherite ingots, which you can add to your sword, your pickaxe, your armor, any tools in the game to get the netherite version of that. And then the last one is the block of netherite, obviously crafted with nine netherite ingots. Okay, so to get to the first new biome, all you have to do is go through a portal, and you will normally find one of these crimson biomes at the other end, because they're fairly common. And I've never went through a portal in the new snapshot and not ended up in one of these biomes. So, you should be fine. There won't be any problem finding one of these biomes. Also, these mushrooms have nether wart blocks on them, so nether wart will no longer be a problem. You won't need to find a nether fortress to get nether wart anymore, which is obviously pretty nice. Now let's go find the second one. Now before I show you the second biome, I thought I would just show you around the nether a bit more. So there are some blocks that I did not show you, such as the soul soil. There's also this blue fire. It's actually the same fire as normal, it's just blue because it's in the blue nether biome. And the terrain generation is definitely different. And also there are, I believe these are bone blocks? Yes, bone blocks just growing out of the ground, which are pretty cool. You can also find nether ravines, which if I look around here... Yeah, I don't see any around here, but they will generate in the walls of the nether. This is the second forest biome of the nether. It's basically just like the first one, except blue. And there's nothing really else to say, except there are these shroom light blocks that grow in these giant mushrooms, which can be used as lighting, just like glowstone. I'm not going to be doing a time lapse to see how long it takes me to find some ancient debris. Okay, so basically I gave up with strip mining and I just blew a giant hole in the nether with a bunch of TNT and I actually found some ancient debris right here. I was strip mining for 12 minutes before I decided to start TNTing the nether. So yeah, I also found some of these hoglins, which are one of the new mobs in the update. They're pretty cool. So let's go back to the overworld and craft some of the new gear. Okay, so I'm now smelting my ancient debris to get some netherite scrap. So if I take some of this netherite scrap, put it in the crafting table, in a L shape, just like that. Then with some gold, I can get some netherite ingots, which I can then use to make the netherite tools, as well as some netherite armor. Now I just want to find out how powerful these netherite tools and armor actually is. Okay, so first I want to test the pickaxes. So I do have two pillars of cobblestone right here, and I'll just mine with the diamond one first, and then I'll mine with the netherite one next. Okay, so it mines about that fast. Okay, so the netherite is definitely faster, it's just not that much faster. Now let's try it with efficiency 5 as well. Okay, so let's try out both these pickaxes with efficiency 5. Okay, yep, pretty fast. Now let's try the netherite. Again, definitely a little faster, I'd say. But it's really not that much faster. It actually might be the same. It's either the same or the netherite is slightly faster. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't say much about the mining speed here, but this one, the netherite does have about 500 more durability, which is really good. Okay, and to test the armor, I want to see how much damage a creeper does with diamond armor and netherite armor. I'm going to spawn the creeper right here. One, two, three, four, five. Five hearts left. 
Okay. Not bad, not bad. So, now let's try the netherite. I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty similar. Alright, I actually took more damage. So I wanna do multiple tests of this because I don't think that should be right. Let's just eat a little bit. We'll regen a little bit, then we'll try it with both sets of armor. Because I just don't think the diamond armor would have more blast protection than this netherite. It also has a little bit of knockback resistance as well. Alright, standing right on the bedrock, spawn the creeper. Three and a half hearts left. Let's put on the diamond armor. Guess we get to try out the netherite sword as well. Alright, now with the diamond armor. Alright, I just got absolutely destroyed. So it seems like the netherite armor is definitely a little better. Because you can see it does plus 3, plus 8, plus 6, and plus 3. Then plus 3, plus 8, plus 6, and plus 3 is actually exactly the same. I did not think that was the case. It's exactly the same. Okay, so the netherite armor was a little disappointing, but let's see if the netherite sword can save the netherite set. So I have a zombie here, and I'm just basically just gonna strike him multiple times with each sword to see how many hits it takes to kill him. We'll start with the netherite. One, two, three. Three hits. Now, diamond. One, two, three hits as well. Let's check out the stats. Eight attack damage. About 2,000 durability. And 7 attack damage, about 1,500 durability. So, the Netherite Sword is 1 attack damage better, and 500 durability better. So really, it's not that good. I mean, again, if you're a late game, and you can get the Netherite set, you might as well. Because it is a little better, it's just not going to make much of a difference at all if you're fighting something normally. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next Minecraft video. Bye everyone!